Hey everyone, thanks for checking out our BNX quality control procedure video. In this video, we will clearly show you the filtration efficiency test and our quality control inspection process that our protective masks and filtering face piece respirators go through, live from camera and unedited. Now let's see how we test the masks. First, we make sure the mask or respirator is properly and completely sealed with beeswax or hot melt glue to the testing plate as seen in the NIOSH video. The testing plate is then attached to the frame. Next, the box is put to the TSI filter holder for testing. Our testing method is inspired by NIOSH. A testing box with frame and plate were manufactured for the purpose of testing complete mask and respirators in-house as part of our standard quality control procedure. The TSI machine is conducting its test, which tests for particle filtration efficiency. As per the video by NIOSH, they are demonstrating their filtration test using the TSI model 8130. We use the TSI 8130A machine, which is designed to test particle penetration or filter efficiency and is approved by NIOSH and the CDC. Additionally, we conduct testing on a regular basis by using TSI green line papers to make sure the TSI 8130A filter tester is giving accurate results. TSI visits our facility annually and conducts field service for the 8130A tester for calibration purposes. We individually test a number of masks and respirators daily according to the batch size and military standard 105E sampling plan implemented by our quality control procedures. If we test one sample that did not pass 95% or higher filtration efficiency, then the whole batch of masks and respirators will fail and be treated with non-conformity procedures. No batch leaves our facility before passing our quality control procedure based on military standard 105E. BNX operates a NIOSH and CDC approved N95 manufacturing facility in Houston, Texas, and implements a specific quality control procedure based on military standard 105E. We utilize the same quality control procedures to produce our KN95 masks in the same facility in Houston, Texas. And now, let's see the results. Filtration efficiency percentage equals 100% minus the penetration percentage. Penetration results should never exceed 5%, which is the same as saying filtration efficiency should never be less than 95%. Masks are tested using an air flow rate of 85 liters per minute. If the flow rate is greater than 85 liters per minute, the filtration efficiency result would most probably be less than that of the result when tested at 85 liters per minute. Testing the masks using a greater airflow rate may cause the mask to have a relatively smaller filtration efficiency. Well folks, there you have it. Our mask and respirators tested less than 1-2% to for particle penetration which means 98 to 99% filtration efficiency. Thanks for watching.